Rida Sharif is among thousands forced from their homes by war in Derna. He says forces loyal to warlord Khalifa Haftar ransacked his house. Another man says his house was bombarded and burned down. They register their details in this office in Tripoli so they can receive government aid. For them, returning home is unsafe. The fact that we are in Tripoli can be a reason for Haftar forces to accuse us of being anti-Haftar. Many people here go in disguise so they can return home without being detained or interrogated. Derna has been plagued by five months of heavy fighting. Haftar's forces want to seize the city so they have full control of the whole eastern region of Libya. They accuse the Derna Protection Force of being terrorists. The Derna fighters deny that and say they defeated ISIL in the area. They also reject the imposition of military rule by Haftar. The head of a government-backed aid organization for displaced people says only international pressure on Haftar can guarantee their safe return. He says some satchels donated by a donor for the displaced students are the only thing they have received in a while. The problem we're facing is that the government is not financially committed to our demands, so we're trying to contact international and local aid agencies for support. Haftar's forces have laid siege to Derna's city for almost three years. Air raids and artillery bombardments have destroyed many homes, and people are suffering severe shortages of all basic needs. <laughs> Dozens of Libyans, including civilians, have been killed since Haftar steeped up the battle for Derna on May the 7th. Schools, hospitals and other vital infrastructure, all damaged by fighting. Rida and other displaced Libyans from Derna hope their case can reach the International Criminal Court. They say what is happening to civilians in the city is a crime against humanity. Mahmoud Abdelwahid, Al Jazeera. Tripoli.